I was working on a project here with uh, invoices and workflow and I thought it might be helpful for others to share how do you debug uh, workflow when you get an error. So in this case you'll see for example if I go up to the workflow history and we have a look for example you'll see I've got a stop error that might be happening in the system. So if you're getting that how do you try to work out what's going on. So let's work out how do we debug now. In your case, you have to work out which particular workflow class that you need to access. Um, but a couple of the tips. Now, workflow runs in batch, so really this applies to anything that's also running in batches as well. So as long as you know the class, you could do apply the same technique. So um, I'm firstly going to go up to my AOS server. So the AOS that I'm working on has got breakpoint set um, and enable global breakpoint so the debugging needs to be turned on in uh, on the workflow for us to be able to uh, use this for example so the other thing we need to work out is uh, in this particular case I know the class because it's a um, it's a, a project that I'm working on so I know the class that I'm working on but otherwise you'll need to look at your different workflow type or the hierarchy provider that um, is standard or, or what have you find the class that they're, they're pretty easy to find if you look at the properties um, so it might take you a little bit of time to um, work out the properties but each of the different properties on a workflow has the related um, menu items and the document class for example stuff like that so you can work out kind of the starting point that you might want to try to get in to set a breakpoint. Now I can't set a breakpoint in the Windows client, the Morphix environment, development environment. I got to do that in Visual Studio because this code's running uh, on uh, .NET essentially it's compiled to IL so I need to open up Visual Studio and therefore with the application explorer we can find the class so in my particular case the class is called Vin Invoice Workflow Provider so if we look for that Vin Invoice Invoice Workflow Provider and it should be here. Okay, so this is my class. So in this particular case, um, I, I know the method that I'm having trouble with. Now, um, so we can see the code. Now, this code you need to have compiled um, IL. So um, if you're debugging, make sure you've done, for example, a full compile um, of IL so that you get the updated um, code in the IL library. And so the code uh, in the IL library is going to be essentially, or the IL folder, you'll find it under the AOS. So program files, um, Dynamics AX, um, the 6.0, you'll see server, um, whatever your um, AOS instances, bin folder, and then if you have a look, you'll see X++ IL. So if you don't have anything in this folder for your relevant um, AOS, then, it, then you're not going to be able to debug because the debugger, uh, for you to see the code, um, this needs to be populated out here So uh, for the debug symbols. Alright, so, so once you've got that set up, um, you need to attach the debugger to the AOS. So in this particular case, I've only got one AOS running on the machine um, and I'm not debugging remotely. So there's, I mean, you could certainly debug remotely, but you have to have uh, remote debugging set up on that AOS. So in this case, this is my AOS. I'm going to attach to this as a process. We'll get the warning, but yes, I'm attaching. So once we've attached, um, you'll see um, the system going through that IL library. Alright, so it's basically ready here. So once we're attached, we can put our breakpoint. So I'm going to hit for setting a breakpoint. And I forget F9 is the key on the recording software I'm using. So let's put on a breakpoint. Okay, so I've got the breakpoint 
um, set up there. Now this is going to sit here um, until the batch job runs and so in this particular case if I go to the one I'm waiting for nothing's been submitted so my batch job for workflow has been set up for a minute um, so if we have a look at system and administration look at my batch jobs I've got my I've got my workflow uh, message processor here sitting and waiting so that'll check every minute obviously um, you know if there's nothing for it to process you're not going to hit that breakpoint for example so you've got to submit something for it to work on so in this case I'm going to go and submit this is my invoice I'll hit submit and we'll submit it um, so it's going to sit there so you might have to wait for a little while um, before the batch runs and the breakpoint gets hit so I'll just pause the video while it's coming alright so if you get your batch set up for you know a minute you should only have to wait for about a minute at most for this to come around so once you're here and then you can use your normal key so F11 um, to step through um, the code um, and again you won't be able to see the code if you haven't make uh, pointed it to the uh, X plus plus IL folder but in this case um, the um, I can sit and debug obviously I'll get my locals I can set um, have a look at the call stack for example and, and stuff like that um, so that's essentially the process the rest of it up to you in terms of the um, code that you're looking at trying to work out um, I'm going to hit stop uh, on the debugging so when you're finished just uh, hit stop um, and then essentially you'll uh, finish debugging um, but that's basically the process so the trick is knowing which class you need to set a breakpoint um, and so as long as you know that or can find that um, then you can hit debug so it's a quick couple of uh, orientation tips on debugging workflow.